What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Aimless Moto. Today, we start a new project, and if you can't tell by the title, it's gonna be a cafe tracker project. This bike is a 1975 Kawasaki KZ400, in red, with a kickstart. This one is a 1975 Kawasaki KZ400, in blue, with a kickstart. I was lucky enough to only have to pay $300 for both these motorcycles, and before you start going all crazy, around here, $300 for one motorcycle is pretty hard to come by. Uh, especially when that one doesn't look like it would take too much to run. This one looks like it would need a little bit of work. Um, but hey, I mean, he threw in the sissy bar for free. So the red one, I think, is where we're gonna start our project. This one actually looks like it was put away correctly, and it has less miles on it. This one only has 5,557 miles on it. The tank is actually clean on the inside. The carburetors are free. There's much less corrosion on the frame and, and chrome and all the bodywork. The seat pan is in really good shape. And it has drum brakes. If I'm gonna do a cafe, tracker, scrambler style bike and plan on taking this bike off road, the drum brake is gonna be a lot more reliable than the disc brake. For the time being, the blue one is gonna be more of a parts bike. The pros that the blue bike has going for it are that it is an electric start motor. It only has 8,200 miles on it. However, the tank is rusty. Every single piece of chrome on it is rusty. It looks like there's a leak around the shifter shaft and the carburetor boots are held together with electrical tape. Not to mention it's missing a throttle and the headlight, which is no big deal, but still. Granted, this unit does have a disc brake and it does have electric start, which will make life a lot easier, but it's a small bike and I'm not too worried about it. Plus a perfectly operating 1970s disc brake isn't really as reliable as you would think it would be. Like I said, it's, not, it's really not going to be a cafe racer. Cafe racers were mainly based off of race bikes, so uh, nobody ever based a race bike off a of KZ400. But what we're going to do, you know, I think if we stick to the standard handlebar, if we stick to like a dirt style tire, you know, we're going to have a, a tracker scrambler that is going to be a really nice, light, quasi powerful little bike it's going to be a great little around town bike and a great little commuter and it's going to have a little bit more style than sissy bars of the 70s and all that stuff again thank you guys for subscribing if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button hit that like button share this video i'm going to be doing weekly uploads with different little projects on this bike and hopefully over the next few weeks maybe the next couple of months we're going to have something that looks pretty cool and is going to be a nice reliable little motorcycle and i can't wait to get back on two wheels it's been two years since i've had a real motorcycle and you know about a year since i had that scooter and that scooter was just I'm glad I got rid of that. Anyway, thank you guys again. Stick around, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.